We are Nick and Sam Simpson, and this is Sims on the Go. Welcome to Hoi An, Vietnam. Today we're just gonna be going through Ancient Town, also known as the City of Lanterns, and we will be exploring the whole thing, what to do, where to go. Good morning and welcome to day two here in Hoi An, Vietnam. We are loving this city so much and I'm still full from yesterday's video. It's pretty small, but we're just gonna find little alleyways and see what we can get into today. But first stop is coffee. Is this tea or is this coffee? The cup roll tea here. So we stopped at Fifo Coffee, which is in the ancient town of Hoi An. And the reason we stopped here is because they have an amazing rooftop. They brought us the coffee in these like little jars. And it says, hello, my name is Black Coffee. But fun fact about Hoi An that I just learned is that Hoi An was formerly known as Phi Pho. That's the name of this coffee shop. <laughs> Next up is the Japanese Covered Bridge, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This bridge was built in the 1500s. And interesting fact about Hoi An, from the 15th to the 19th century, Hoi An was known to be the best port city in all of Southeast Asia and arguably all of Asia. So the Japanese covered bridge is guarded by two specific animals, a dog and a monkey. It was said that most of the emperors in this region at that time were either born during the year of the dog or the year of the monkey. So we just crossed the Japanese bridge into another area of ancient town in Hoi An, and let me tell you, there are far less people. Nick has a whole day planned for us. We're gonna go to a whole bunch of temples today, but on my run this morning, I came across like some really cool parts of this town, and so I'm gonna take Nick to the water first, which is so beautiful. Like, I honestly had to stop and just like take it in on my run today because it was gorgeous. So we're going to stop there and then we go to the temples. Currently walking on the An Hoi Bridge, which is another popular walking and I guess biking bridge across from Hoi An ancient city to An Hoi, which is the other part. But the thing that I wanted to say about An Hoi Bridge is that this is where the popular lantern festival happens. Once, one big one a year, but every full moon they do a lantern festival here that's at a smaller scale. And, and I wish we would have been here for it. We're like a couple of days late. It is March 15th, 2023. And I think full moon happened on March 12th or something. Hoi An is the city of lanterns and there are lanterns everywhere. And all the boats on the river at nighttime are, all have lanterns around them and you can take boats at night and it's just like the coolest thing. And from our room, you can see all the boats going by. I mean, it's super cool. I mean, the city of lanterns is very appropriate. At least we still get to see all the beautiful lanterns and you can buy them everywhere. Okay, but now we really are actually gonna go to the temples in the ancient city in Hoi An. So there are tons of little temples and places to go, and what you do is you have to buy one of these, which is like their like ticket offices like around ancient town, and it gives you five tickets, basically, and each place is one ticket. Thank you. 
We are currently at the Cantonese Assembly Hall here in ancient Hoi An. In recent years, they use this place for Cantonese community to get together and help each other with business and just have a community of the Cantonese people here in Hoi An. One of the best things we've found about Hoi An so far is just getting lost in these little alleyways. They're everywhere. So once you get off a main street, just like look down, they're everywhere. So just follow one, see where it goes, and just get lost. And wherever that takes you, that's where you're going. So cool. I love that. Another amazing alley. I love it here. Like, I love Hoi An. All right, we have just been wandering around, getting lost in little alleyways, seeing where streets take us. So we're gonna head to a pagoda slash like temple where we can use one of our tickets because we have four left. So Sam wasn't super comfortable coming in here because she's wearing like short shorts. Usually you wanna wear pants. Sam is much better at doing these history lessons. I'm literally trying to read something and memorize it and say it to you and I just, I'm losing it. So basically it's a, a Chinese general who was here, who was Vietnamized, which it says that, I don't know, not, I'm not sure what that means, but it says that right there. And they basically dedicated this whole temple to him, and they wrote poems about him, but it is so awesome. It's like, it's almost nice to get out of like the busyness and the craziness and come in here and enjoy this like serenity. Found her. I was just texting you and telling you that we need to go. <laughs> Well, we're gonna go to the Hoi An Market, which is literally right here, and then go do our final thing for the day, which is the cultural art show. It looks like this is the food section of the market, and the clothing is down there, but lots of different food stands, and lots of people eating, and everyone trying to get you to eat at their food stand. Very good in here. The food does look really good, though. But definitely come check this out. This is super cool if you need food, if you need, you know, trinkets, whatever. It's all here. Want some pork belly? It looks like we went from the butcher area to the vegetable and fruit area, which is all out here. But it's like kind of quiet, so either we missed it, like it was earlier today, or it's coming out later today. Well, we just left the food market and the like market in general. I guess it's called the Hoi An Market, which, you know, like, it was quiet. I just think we missed it at the wrong time, but that's okay. It was still really cool to walk through it, and now we're gonna go to our final destination of the day. We're gonna go to the art center to see some traditional art cultural show at 3.15. I'm gonna tell you that this goes on twice a day at 10.15 and 3.15. Well, that was a very lovely cultural show. We weren't totally sure if we could film or not. Some people were. We're gonna close out for tonight. It has been such a wonderful day in the ancient, exploring the ancient city of Hoi An, Vietnam. We really enjoy this town. We think it's so beautiful. It feels very authentic. I mean, it's pretty touristy and it's set up for tourists, but it feels like you can escape them at times and really just, it's really worth a visit to come out here. So make sure you head out to Hoi An. Also, if you're new here, we're traveling the world and we have so many more countries that we're going to and videos that we're making. We're also going to be heading to Hanoi and we have a couple videos in Hanoi coming out too in the next couple of weeks. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, like, comment, do all the things and we will see you on the go. So we just crossed the, the old Japanese bridge into an, an old, so we just crossed the ancient, uh, <clears throat> of 
course the wind rise. Okay. But every full moon they do, okay, I think I spit a little bit. And then after the market we will be doing, oh, hi, hi. 